Hi there, and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke, and this week we're going to be taking a look at the differences between the stick V and the unit V, and how you can get started programming the unit V. If we take a look at the unit V's documentation and quick start guide pages, we can see that they look a lot like those for the stick V. That's because both of these devices can be used in pretty much the same way. They're both using the same chip and can be programmed in the MikesPy MicroPython IDE. Let's have a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the differences between the Stick V and the Unit V. First up, we can see there's quite a bit of difference in price. The Unit V is $8.55 cheaper than the Stick V. This definitely makes things more cost efficient if you wanted to get a couple of these and put them on all sides of a robot or create an array of cameras. And if your project doesn't require a screen or any of the other hardware of the Stick V. One of the reasons for the difference in price is that the Unit V is using a lower quality camera, the OV2640, while the cameras on the devices have the same resolution. The OV7740 on the Stick V is better in low light conditions and has a lot of other more enhanced features. You can check the links that I'll post in the description for the specifics on these. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the video feed from both cameras. You might not need all the extra stuff that the Stick V has, such as the speaker, the accelerometer, or the inbuilt battery. The Unit V is designed to complement the M5 Stack series of unit sensors. Therefore, it has a similar form factor and the classic Lego holes for mounting to all kinds of Lego robotics projects. So how do we get started in programming it then? The Unit V will come pre-burned with the latest firmware at the time. For upgrading the firmware or changing the firmware, you can use the K Flash tool or the Easy Loader on the document page. Download the Mike's Pi IDE, plug in your Unit V, select the serial port, and then press the play button to run whatever code you've written. Since the Unit V doesn't have a screen, you can use the visualizer in the Mike's Pi IDE to, to see the camera feed and anything you've programmed to be overlaid over the top of it. Most of the code examples on Sipid's site and also on the GitHub and documentation pages of M5 Stack will work fine with just a little bit of modification. The main things we'll need to modify are the button GPIO numbers. Also, if you wish to use the LED, you'll have to program it in a different way as it is using a WS2812 LED. I've provided a simple script on my GitHub to show you how to control the LED of the Unit V. If you want to use the V training function on the Unit V, you'll need to download this file from the Quick Start page. Simply dragging it onto the SD card as you would have done with a Stick V will not work here though. But there's a simple fix. All you need to do is rename the file to boot.py. The Unit V is programmed in such a way in that whatever boot.py file is on the SD card will take precedence over the boot.py in the flash memory. Once you've got that file on the SD card and you've inserted your SD card into the unit V, it will create train and valid folders on the SD card. You'll know that the V training program is working if you press the A button on the left hand side and the RGB LED lights up. This lets you know that you've just taken a picture. If you press the B button on the opposite side of the unit V, this will change the current class. If you want more information about V training, please check this video in the link. Lastly, we have some sample code to allow you to attach the unit V to a rover C and have it track objects. Click the link in the quick start guide Upload the Eno file to your stick C and the Pi file to your unit V. And here's the result.
That's about it for our video today. Hope that's cleared up a few things about the unit V and stick V differences. Hopefully I'll have a video in the future showing you some unit V specific projects. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.